All right, so I got uh, 10.3 yesterday, obviously. That's how I put that video out on it. Um, and then within a few hours, another update was ready for my car. I installed it, and it rolled me back to the non-full self-driving regular uh, 5.1. So I was unhappy with that, obviously. But uh, today, while I was at work, my car over the air, over cellular, started downloading 10.3.1, uh, which is 5.3. Oh, let's see if I can do this here. Uh, so, um, I'm here uh, letting it drive me home, which is the same course we saw the last half of uh, the last video. So, welcome to 10.3.1 with 50% uh, less ghost braking. It's, <laughs> it, seems to, it seems to have fixed that problem. I guess most people were having uh, either they would lose Tesla Advanced Cruise Control. Oh, what are we doing here? They would either lose Advanced Cruise Control and Autopilot, or they would have extreme braking to the point that it would... Mm, that it would slam on the brakes and stop them at the intersection at a green light even. So this version hopefully fixes that. And we're gonna try it out in a quick video here and see. This is the part of the road that has pretty much no lane markings. And it's looking at the uh, the dirt and the occasional reflector over there. Um, and it's figuring out roughly where the car should be. So this is, this is amazing. Changing lanes to follow route. Changing lanes again to follow route. Uh, so if you're new to full self-driving, the circle here with the blue line around it means the car is driving. Oh, hold on, there's a car turning here. Is it going to go around it? No, it too bad. Oh, okay, that was weird. It just jerked to the side real hard. I guess it wanted to follow that car. But all right, we're, we're good. Uh, so yeah, if you're new to full self-driving or even uh, Tesla Autopilot, the blue steering wheel here means the car is driving. Uh, I'm so responsible, so I'm keeping my hand on the wheel and I'm, I'm ready for it to do something like just now. We saw it try and jerk and drive some oncoming traffic. So, <laughs> Alright, so in the past here, it tries to go into, yep, here it goes again, maybe, into this. Yeah, it wants to kill us, so we're not going to let it kill us today. So, 10.2 did that too, 10.3.1 has not fixed that. Uh, yesterday in the dark of morning at uh, 6 a.m. or whatever, 10.3 uh, didn't want to hit that, so maybe the reflector's more visible then, and now it, I don't know, for some reason thinks it's lane markings. Uh, it may be in the right lane here to go straight. It's figuring that out. Maybe we're going to get pissed off behind us here. Interesting. It seems to want to follow cars more than 10.2 wants to. Like trying to follow that car for the turn. Two didn't really do that. That seems like something we have done in 10.3 is just making it break for no reason. 10.3 um, was a lot worse. 10.3.1, they seem to have fixed it a little bit. But we definitely got a lot of little random breaking incidents yesterday morning with 10.3. Alright, so what do you all think about the background music? Should I keep low-level background music playing for like the quiet straightaways, or do you just want silence? Because I got a lot of weird comments in my last video. I think I had my first soundtrack a little bit too loud, but let me know in the comments down below what you prefer. And uh, for future videos, I'll try and do what the most people are wanting. Oh, okay. That was... So normally I'm not down for changing lanes in the mid-intersection, but this is the one time you have to because that one lane becomes two up here. And if you don't float into this lane in the, in the intersection, then you can't always merge into this lane. So, that wasn't bad. And in the past, it has gone down the right lane and then merged over. So that's interesting. And 
non-FSD, this last little quarter mile right here spazzes out from the open, the big wide lanes back there. It'll be in the middle, it'll go off the side, so FSD is much improved in that area. Alright, time for my favorite part of the ride. We're going to take Old Telegraph Road here, this little side street that's 25 miles per hour. Ooh, a little bit of aggressive braking, but... See how it does on some sharp turns and a narrow road. Alright. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's oncoming traffic pretty much endlessly here. Hopefully, it says creeping forward to visibility. Hopefully, it doesn't try and jump. Okay, it's, it's being smart. It's waiting for the cars. Yeah, it's an endless supply of cars coming from that direction. Don't, don't go, don't go. Now we've got a green light. All right, good job. Whoa, whoa, okay, a little, little bumpy. This is our last turn. I'm going to go ahead and end it up here. Oh, perfect turn. All right, so that's 10.3.1. Uh, not a whole lot different. Oh, what are we doing here? Passing this guy? All right. Yep, so that's it. Not a whole lot different. A um, couple little tweaks. Uh, doesn't slam on the brakes as much. Let's we'll see how it does with this bicyclist here in the bicycle lane. Awesome. Before it kind of freaks out when uh, when a bike would get too close. So yeah, little improvements, or maybe just a good scenario was over the solid line. But I've definitely been on this road before with the the Beta, and it's it's panicked with the panicked with the bike next to us in the lane. Oh, oh no! Why are you taking Why are you taking a turn? I turn off navigation. Go back. Go back. At least I can put the blinker on. It'll tell what to do. So all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, here's some other videos you can watch of mine if you're bored. Have a good day.